Okay, so I'm sure a bunch of people do this. It's so simple. I can't be the only one who's thought of it. But I am going to be using this um, uh, technique, if you will, in um, several videos. So I figured I'll make one video just illustrating it. So what I'm going to do it, to illustrate it is just model a bolt. So let's say that vertices let's make that six bring scale that down like that and now uh, go into edit mode say select inset right now go to edges select those edges oh well okay and say subdivide I'm going to vertex selection mode and wait a minute there scale that in to get a kind of rounder shape let's see yeah it seems about right now extrude this Oh boy, no, that has to be a little smaller. That much. Say, extrude that out. Okay, so now for the actual threading. So, how does that happen? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a torus. Right? Now, I'm going to make this a pretty coarse. Torus. So minus segments, I'm going to set this to 3, like that, for a sharp kind of uh, thing. This, I'm going to set to, say, 6. Right. Also, the minor radius, that has to go down, say, about that much. I'll bring that up there and say the threading starts from that point like that and there now I'll go ahead and hide that that edit mode now go into vertex selection mode deselect all by pressing A go into wireframe view by pressing Z and now say control R to add loop cuts add one here put it up right against that add another one put it up right against that now press C for circle selection select all of this stuff and then go into select and say less so at this point I only have selected the three original vertices in between the two loop cuts which I put there so I'm going to say delete vertices and now going to go out of wireframe mode and I'm going to say well actually let's go back into I'm going to go into edge selection mode and select these three edges now I'm going to vertex selection mode and deselect these three vertices so now I have this selected but none do that transformation so now I'm going to click on this blue arrow which means I'm going to translate it in the Z direction and I'm going to type in a number since I want to move it up it's going to be a positive number let me say 0.2 see oh that's too much control Z how about 0 0.01 that seems about right now I'm going to say select more move that up 0.01 now I'm going to say select more and move oops move that up 0 0.01 select more move that up 0 0.01 select more move that up 0 0.01 select more move that up 0 0.01 one there so now we have this thing whatever that is 
um, and now I'm going to go ahead and add loop cuts there, 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 and there. Then I'm going to select all of these and scale them out in this direction by saying point 1.2 maybe seems right and then 1.2 over here that seems about right actually yeah that, that does seem about right now go back into object mode and you have this I'm going to say alt H to bring that back and uh, guess what it needs a little scaling in so let's scale that in until it's touching like that and then I'm going to go into the modifier panel over here say add modifier and say array this obviously has to be zero and the Z offset is going to be whatever that is like that right and then increase the count oh boy it's just and there you go you have Threading. You have now a threaded bolt model. So that's how I make threading on Blender. Thought I'd just put it out there.